Is the Pottawatomie County GOP treating certain primary candidates better than others? That's what one former state senator running to get his old seat back is saying after a town hall in Macomb last night. Fox 25's Tom Ferguson joins us live from Shawnee. Now, Tom, it looks like campaigns are in full swing there behind you. Just take a look at the signs behind me, Adam and Wendy. Signs like that are all over the place right now. But in the midst of this ongoing primary, some are asking if the odds are stacked against them. It doesn't pass the smell test. And that's what I, my problem was. And of course, all of us candidates were sitting there going, what's going on? That was Republican State Senate candidate Ron Sharp's reaction to Tuesday's town hall. He used to represent District 17. He said only two candidates running for office were able to speak. State Senate candidate Shane Jett and County Commissioner candidate John Stanley. According to Sharp, others who showed up were not able to speak. It's unprecedented. I've never seen that before, ever. Sharp said party leaders let Jet and Stanley talk because they had signed a quote loyalty oath and gained the county GOP's endorsement. Sharp says any such endorsements before a primary or runoff are totally inappropriate. This is a loyalty oath to a political party. Uh, that is 1930s uh, Nazi Germany kind of baloney. The extremists are seem to be taking over the party and we have to have common sense. We have to be able to uh, reach across the aisle. The county GOP is pushing back against Sharp. Chairman William Ruth said there was no loyalty oath, but this state GOP required survey. Ruth added the county GOP went ahead with endorsing those who comply with the rules and earn it. He hasn't been involved with us in years. Now he wants to play the victim, said the chairman of Sharp. Asserting also he is the same narcissistic Ron Sharp he has always been. And the chairman said all the candidates were still able to talk to voters after the main event last night. The primary determined who will get the Republican nomination for state Senate here and determined nominations across Oklahoma will take place on June 18th. Live in Shawnee, Tom Ferguson, Fox 25 News.